Unfortunately for DJ Curtis, we are back, and the track is dry once again. There are going to be exactly 300 miles to go at the end of this race. The cars have already been pitted, and they quick brought them back down pit road to clear up a, um, a, pot, a little bit of a wet patch out on the track. However, there will be exactly 300 miles, not laps, 300 miles to go in this race, and we are back under the lights. It's about 7 o'clock at night right now. We're going to go racing here, and this is going to be a very interesting race. All 32 cars with only 300 miles to go have a shot to win this race. A realistic shot to win this race. Um, we do have a... It's just under halfway that we've got to go in this one, and it's going to be a very high-energy night race at now. None of these cars have tested during the night. The only car that I think has ever run in the night was the 44, and he's starting all the way back in last now out of the 32 remaining cars. And that car nearly won the American 700 last season. However, with how competitive this race got during the second like little segment of this race... I'm very interested to see how wild this one's going to get at the end, especially with so many cars left uh, beyond halfway that have a shot to win this. Green flag is back out in the air, and away we go! Bouchard didn't get going. Uh, Madeline Myatt did on the outside and is already trying to get by the 88. We've already got cars all over the place trying to get down into turn one safely. Here they go again. We're four wide a little further back. And you can definitely see five wide! Five wide for a second there. They're all scrambling back here to try and get going again. We only have 300 miles exactly to go in this race. Well, a little under that now. We've got 349 to go as Noah Hart takes the lead of the American 700. And now we are back going again. This is going to be a thrilling showdown here at the end for this American 700. Rock now is looking low. And oh, looks like Myatt's sliding wide in the nine there. Almost got up into his daughter. Uh, and oh, that's a little bit of beating and banging there between, I believe, the 51 and the 11. And this race is going to pick up a whole lot of intensity now. Rock is looking down low. And this track is once again pretty green. So you've got to be really careful here as this race keeps going. Here comes the one now trying to fight her way in the order. She's been the dominant car of the day. Car number one has been going for second position now on Brock. I don't think Brock's going to give that position up so easily there. And Brock is going to get a bit of a draft down the back straight away here. And I think the one's going to have to concede right here in the battle. No, she's not. She is diving back down low again. And I think this one actually might go to the one here, because I don't think the nines or, or the twos really got a run up there. And yes, I think the one is clear. No, not cleared yet, but is about to clear for second. But Noah Hart leads the American 700. Brock now is fighting down low. Trying to get back up to the 18 car of Noah Hart. However, isn't going to make it that time. The 15 of Curtis now has worked his way back up the order. The 15 was leading for a while there during the second stint of this race. Don led for a while as well. Look at him on the outside just trying to skate around out there and make some moves up. It actually seems like it's working. Here comes the 2 and the 1 are still battling side by side. However, the 18 has a pretty nice lead right now. The 81 went sliding up the track as well there, so... And the 9, and everybody seems to be going by the 81 here, so Angel's really having a hard time controlling that one there. However, this American 700 has gotten a lot of competition now. Some of these cars that got lapped got another pass. That was Vance Caldwell, or somebody like Ryan Griffin and Becca Moss. However, Vance Caldwell's falling way down the order here. Bobby Jones had a lot of rear end damage. They were allowed to fix that car over. He had to start toward the back because of it. To fix it. Endurance there. The 20 or the 44 car now is uh, trying to work his way through the order as well. Here comes the 4 and the 31. So it has been a pretty interesting uh, restart to this race now that we're under the lights. 
The big mover so far, though, in 13 laps has been Scott Roush. He's worked his way from the back of the order up to fifth position in 13 laps. So Scott Roush, oh, he's up to third now. Scott Roush is a man on a mission to possibly win his first race in the American 700. This could be a thrilling showdown for him if he can pull this one off. There are some more showers in the area, however, um, they're only brief, so we should be able to get the race in tonight. However, as you can already see, the cars are falling off the pace again because of the tire wear. So Scott Roush, I gotta give him credit, he's all the way up to third, so that was a pretty uh, close-in run there by Roush. And now Roush is trying to go for second position here as Hart is going to pit, so this is a battle for the lead now. Noah Hart brings it down pit road. Remember, he was pitting early in that last stint as well, or in the first stint of the race, he was coming in early. Him and Vince Freeze are on pit road. A couple more cars, I see Stan Faber's coming in. Zolt Dormitory's in as well. And finally, Marion Shawrot's in. Meanwhile, Roush and Mayan are battling at the front of the field once again. And this is where things are going to get pretty intense now during the pit stop cycles. Here they all come again for tires. I think pretty much everybody's going to try and come in this time. It looks like, oh, maybe the uh, 31 might be staying out. Yes, the 31 is staying out here. And that is going to definitely put a big advantage to somebody like Trek Tauger or disadvantage to Trek Tauger and Gurian. They're just banking on a yellow right now, I believe. This is how much of a lead Noah Hart's going to get as he zips around the corner. That is Madeline May and Scott Roush coming out of the pits. That was second and third before the stop strategy. And Vince Freeze is actually going to take over second position in the American 700 because uh, Maya and Roush had such a um, slower pit stop cycle there. Here comes Stan Thaber. Thaber was way in the back now, and he is starting to fly through the order of it here as well. He was down in the, low, in the lower 20s, early 30s. And now, Stan Thaber's got a shot. Now, he's up into the top, um, I believe, 20, maybe? We'll find out where he is in a little bit. So after the pit stop cycle, it is Noah Hart, Vince Freeze, Madeline Myatt, Scott Roush, Sean Angel, Kenny Myatt, Chris Dodd, Nick Pericles, Vincent Allen, Trek Tauger, William Brock, Dordan Bouchard, Grayson Ace Vito, Eric Monaco, Gurian, Art, Davidson, Jones, Faber, Curtis, Fitzwater, Dormitory, Michelia, Allen, Moss, Caldwell, Griffin, Dover, Shellrot, Wallish, Halleck, and Lamas. Are the remaining cars running? Here comes the one now down low on the bit on the 05. The one is looking to try and take back over the lead of this race. I don't know if it's going to happen though at this rate. However, she has gotten by the 05 and now is trying to set up the 18 and Noah Hart for the lead. However, a Hart is not going to be an easy car for her to get by. There's a big gap back to a fourth position being Scott Roush. A huge gap back now as these three now are all duking it out for the lead of this race. And here comes the one now, down low on the 18, trying to set him up. Has better tires than the 18. Remember, Madeline Maya came in a lap later. And actually, the 18 is going to be able to kind of uh, be on rails around the outside to maybe hold the position. However, I think Maya is going to lead the lap. Uh, Maya wins the battle, but I don't think she's going to win the war at this rate, especially if the 05 drafts with the 18. However, no, Maya does win the war and grabs the position quite uh, cleanly, I believe. Unless the 18's fighting back. The 18 is fighting back, so the war isn't over. And right there, the 18 has been passed by the one. The one of Madeline Maya would open up some quite substantial lead over second, Noah Hart, and third, Vince Freeze. Tauger has gotten by Angel, or Tauger and Angel have gotten by Roush. Roush is falling back to the grabs of grips of the 9 and the 41, and uh, there's Pericles back there as well, so like I said, this race is becoming more and more of the Madeline Mayan show than anything else. Noah Hart and Vince Freeze realizing they were losing too much time on track with older tires came in to 
pit here, and they're going to try and get back by Madeline Myatt, who uh, should be pitting this time. Yes, she is. Tauger is going to stay out once again. Tauger's been going late on strategy this whole race so far. And now you've got also Dodd and Maya going another lap as well. After the pit stop cycle, the 18 would have the lead again. However, the one car is right there with Vince Freeze in third. It's going to be one of those battles now, I think, between we know who the drivers to watch are going to be. And now you've actually got some lap cars that are going to be a factor. Talia Wallish. And now you got the one starting to really close the gap now. And the one car is starting to do what she does best, and that is start romping around this track like she owns the place. Talia Wallish would be the first car to go a lap down after the latest restart on lap 38 of 150 to go in this rather long distance American, long time distance American 700. This race started at uh, noon or at 12.15 really and we're going on 8.15 so it's been eight hours since the start of the race and uh, there is some showers like I said again that are on the radar that might end up putting this race back under yellow pretty quick here if they're not careful. Lamas would be the next car to go a lap down as the one car is just romping away right now. Uh, right now it looks like it's the Madeline Mayan show and there's uh, Roush and Angel, Tauger. Really not a whole lot of movement in this order right now. Bouchard's worked his way back up the order with help from uh, Monaco. However, right now it's been a pretty, uh, I guess, uh, clean race to be honest with you. It's been another clean restart today. After another run of pit stop cycles, Vince Freeze would lead this race over Noah Hart and Madeline Myatt. Now Roush has actually closed in quite a bit on these two as we are now under 200 miles to go in this event here. And as I, we're under 100 laps to go, and as I said earlier, there is more rain coming in. So if the race goes under red again, Vince Freeze at this point could be the winner. However, it's only a small sprinkle, but it's enough that they might want to get the jet dryers out there, it looks like, so. And we are going yellow right now from what it looks like. And here's the pace car out there. We did have Vance Caldwell also break down on track. We're going to see if we have a clip of him going down, uh, whatever caused him to go out there. However, it is raining once again, but Vince Freeze is the leader of the race. And with only a limited bit to go, if, this, if we lose this track, this race might be over early. Um, they are going to try and get the jet dryers out there and go red, so... This might be it, guys. This might be the first American 700 to ever be rain short. Vince Freeze might have just stolen the American 700. And here's Vance Codwell breaking down some tough break for him. Because we had a quick 20 minute red flag, we are going to back to racing. Everybody in the back got their lap back. We forgot to mention that John Arndt was a lap down after a tire going down, but he got his lap back. Uh, however, he is starting about, actually he went two laps down because of that. Right as the caution was about to fly, he just went a second lap down. So Scott Roush is going to lead the field back to the green. And luckily on radar, it doesn't look like there's going to be a single rain char the rest of the way. So here we go again. This is going to be, I think, another crazy restart. Look how backed up there because Roush didn't get going. The 73 is already looking underneath the one. And this is where things are going to get pretty interesting because you've got cars all over the place trying to make things work. Four wide for third. That's Vincent Allen going up the order. We got a car on the apron making a move back there. That was Eric Monaco. And oh boy, this is where things are going to get rather crazy now. Roush continues to lead this race. Oh, five wide in the back, I think. No, four wide in the back. Five wide now. Four wide again. And this is where things are getting pretty nuts. DJ Curtis, who's led him in this race, is now coming his way up the order. Only a handful of laps to go in this one. Bouchard now is trying to make a move stick. Oh, crash! Big, big crash! I see Mayan in it! Freeze is in it! Vichelia's in it! Angel's in it! Dot is in it! And that's going to be a caution right there. That's a lot of cars in that one. That's the biggest wreck of the day, I think. 
Michelle, Amaya, Dodd, Freeze, and Angel all in one accident there as Roush leads them back to the yellow flag. And Kenny Maya is not ever going to win the American 700 in his career. Unless if there was another rain shower, which it doesn't look like it, and I think that's pretty much it. And this is what happened. Dodd's fighting his way up the middle line, and Pichelia just gets into him. Down the track he goes, gets turned more by Ace Vito, and that's where Pichelia, Myatt, and Freeze get collected with Angel there. There's not a whole lot any of them are going to be able to do anything about that there. And this is it again from another angle, and, well, the 11 almost got swept up in that as well. So that could have been a very nasty incident there. And we're on board with Kenny Maya now, where you're just going to see this wreck take place in front of him here. And his American 700 career dreams are up in smoke right there as he goes into the wall. I think that's his, he's got to be done from that. Freeze, Dot, and Angel have all fallen out of the race. However, Bichelia and Maya are going to keep going. They had the least amount of damage out of the two hour over, uh, they both have quite a bit of damage, it looks like, or at least Bichelia does. Myatt's car actually doesn't look like it's in that bad a shape. Uh, Bichelia, on the other hand, I won't count Myatt maybe out of this just yet. However, I'm guessing he took a pretty big knock to the front, so he might be pretty slow on track. Well, I made a mistake because Myatt is one lap down by mistake. I'm sorry about that. Myatt is a lap down, so, so as long as there isn't another yellow... I think his American 700 dreams are pretty much dashed right there. Car number nine, he's got to be kicking him himself or very upset with some of his other competitors. But you're definitely seeing the uh, anxiety and emotion in this race has definitely gone through the roof now as a bunch of drivers with only 90, with only about 89 laps to go in this American 700. And with this many cars on the lead lap, 27 cars on the lead lap. Oh, Vincent Allen's got a problem, and look, oh no, maybe not, maybe not. With um, this many cars, excuse me, all on the lead lap, I think 25 of these guys, or maybe 20, or realistically 20 drivers could win this race. And that's going to be very, very interesting to watch, because 20 drivers in contention at the end of the American 700 has been unheard of in years past. However, Scott Roush leads the field back to the green. We're going to see how what kind of a mess the nine is going to be. The nine is definitely slow out there. Green flag is back out. Here we go. Bouchard and the 25 are all over it there. The nine is definitely very slow on track. Actually going to hold up his teammate. Oh, we got a car grenading in the back. I think that's Stan Thaber. Stan Thaber's very, very slow on track. Halleck nearly gets into the nine. And that is going to spread out the field, luckily, though, because we had an issue on that last restart. Yes, Thaver is blown up, so his American 700 dreams are over. Becca Moss is going for the lead now. And this is very close racing here. And this is the most intense racing action we've seen in this American 700. Five wide further back. Five wide further back as Ryan Griffin makes the outside work to solidify a move. Four wide for the lead in this American 700. Oh boy, this is where things are. Five wide for the lead in the American 700. Bouchard's, I think, gonna steal it on the outside. Here we go, down the back straightaway again. This is where the rain hit. Madeline Maya now is going for the lead of the race. The only Maya, I think, realistically, that's got a shot in this. Well, yeah, obviously, because Kenny Maya's a lap down and slow. Oh, car in the wall! That's Brock in the wall! And definitely this race is picking up in intensity. Definitely. This race is really picking up as the one car is going down low on the 88 for the lead. Oh boy, that was close though with the two car if you ask me. This was almost a big wreck as Noah Hart turns the two into the three and the two goes into the outside wall. Luckily everyone would continue though and it wasn't a big wreck. However, the 2 and the 11 would have to pit. The 11 had a tire going down, I believe, and had to bring it down pit road, so their American 700 hopes are dashed, unless if they get a quick yellow here, which how they're racing, it wouldn't surprise me as the one car is in the lead of the race now, as he ma she made the move around by Bouchard. Vincent Allen, the two-time American 700 winner, is also in this. Bobby Jones is coming down pit road now. He, of course, has a tire rub from when Brock hit him. 
So Bobby Jones is done now, unless if a caution were to fly at the right time. However, Ryan Griffin being slow on track and backed it into the wall would bring out the yellow flag. And Griffin brings out a yellow flag, which effectively laps a few more cars. So Griffin, who has hit the wall coming out of the turn, made contact with Wallace and Monaco. Monaco, of course, got, no, Monaco avoided it, I believe. However, Griffin now has hit the wall, and now his American 700 dreams are dashed. And we're starting to see the length of this race is really starting to pull damages on these cars as Zayden Davidson grenades the motor with only a handful of laps to go under yellow. So the four car is done. Griffin, like I said, I believe might have fallen out of the race. No, he's not. Griffin's still in it. Despite backing it into the wall after contact with Wallace. Wallace has been nothing short of a weapon this weekend. And Noah Hart would take the field back to the green. That's Zachary Fitzwater in second position on the restart. And we've already got some really close racing now. Uh, Bobby Jones is trying to get back onto the lead lap this way. He was on the tail end of it as he did not go a full lap down. And now you've got a couple other cars trying to get back on the lead lap. That's William Brock and Ace Vito. Here comes the 44, which was the race leader to lap him. Vincent Allman now has lapped Grayson Ace Vito with William Brock. He is the leader of the race. That's Becca Moss in second position for the American 700. She's driving with her ride on the line now as uh, here comes Vincent Allman to relap Bobby Jones at this stage. And this is where things are getting really rambunctious and aggressive now. There's John Art sliding his way through there. Bouchard sliding his way. As this American 700 has gone completely haywire due to this rain delays. Endless, endless rain delays have just made this race so impeccably crazy. It's not even funny. As here comes Bobby Jones now. She's trying to shove Ace Vito back onto the lead lap. With how many yellows there have been just in this last little bit. We've had, I think, three rain delays now. Oh, crash in the back! Uh, we've been saying that a lot here. Oh, here's the big one, I think. That's Pericles in it. Monaco's in it. Dormitory's in it. Griffin and Wallace are in it. And if that's another one on Wallace, oh, Scott Roush got some right side damage in it. This is the big battle back. Is anybody gonna get their lap back? Doesn't look like it, as the 44 leads the field back to take the yellow as more cars now. And uh, Eric Monaco, I think that's it for the Reddit Davis Brigade. The five's out. I think the O5's out. No, the O5's still in it. No, the O5's out. And that's every Reddit Davis car, despite being one of the fastest groups on the track. Every Reddit Davis car has fallen out of the race. So tough, tough break for that team. They, I thought, were the favorites to win this American 700. It started with Zachary Fitzwater, who was pretty much setting some pretty competitive laps later into this race, getting turned by Pericles down the track. Roush and Davidson would get collected. I'm sorry, Roush and uh, Shawroth that was. No, Shawroth missed it. Uh, Wallace and um, Griffin and uh, Monaco had nowhere to go in that one either. And that's Ryan Griffin done. Here it is again, as Fitzwater and the 25 would drive away from this. However, the 82, whose American 700 hasn't been the best, would get collected, and a couple other cars just had nowhere to go. Wallace wasn't at fault for that one, but has been finally put out of everybody's misery by a wreck that wasn't necessarily their fault. Also, Dover was involved in a pit road contact, I believe this race as well. Griffin, who was surprisingly keeping up with some of the cars around him on track, he was actually not that slow, just to have nowhere to go in this situation as Wallace, he was just following Wallace through and well, up into the wall goes Griffin and, out of, and basically I, he might be able to continue still. I'm not sure though what his car condition is. Nah, I don't think so. Well, I was wrong about that one. Ryan Griffin's still in this and I cannot believe it, to be honest, as here comes a Speedo Jones, 
uh, rock back down pit road. As Alex Allen's now the leader of this race with Madeline Myatt, Vincent Allen, Dornan Bouchard, and Becca Moss. So Alex Allen's going to lead what has simply become a single-handed crash fest ever since we've gone to, this fun, to the night. Green flag is back out again. Here we go. And this is going to be another dash for cash, I think, here as we're flying down to turn number one again. Oh, there's Kenny Maya pretty slow on track. And everybody seems to get by Maya there. As here comes Bobby Jones trying to get his lap back. Vincent Allen and Alex Allen are going at it now. And Bobby Jones is trying to get his lap back. This is going to be a pretty big move here by Jones to try and get it back and hope for another yellow, which how they've been running. Anything is possible in this race. Five wide once again. Brock slides a bit of in the middle of the corner, but luckily no contact. Furthermore, there, there's Arndt trying to shove Brock along. Oh boy, this is absolute madness this race has become. Absolutely madness. And now the 44 continues to lead. That car nearly won the Amer Oh, no more contact in the back. That was Brock, and we got some more shenanigans. The 18 and the 83 are around. And that's another yellow. No damage, though, to these two cars. Yeah, this one was by the 83 getting into the two, and there, the, four, the 48 got a bit of damage there as well. And the 18 was lucky to keep it off the wall there. So lucky to keep it off the wall. I think his car is gonna be fine. And we're on board with Noah Hart. I think we might have just set the caution record in the American 700. This race has been nothing short of an absolute mayhem fest ever since we've gone back green. But I gotta admit, it's definitely entertaining as Noah Hart is lucky and will keep going. And this was coming out of the pits. There was a little bit of a stack up with Scott Roush here and Pericles runs into the 88. The third place car right there gets run into. And that's some rear end damage for Dornan Bouchard. That was rather silly on Pericles there, if you ask me, but Pericles has some pretty serious front end damage as well. Grayson Ace Vito did not pit. He's on the tail end of the lead lap, going to try and steal back on the lead lap. That's a Metervini in third in the American 7 Remember, That's Shell Rod. Here goes Gurian in the lead, trying to get by a bunch of cars. Brock does not get going. Curtis does not get going. The Metervini did get going. The nine's not going. There's a stack up in the back as they're all trying to get by Kenny Myatt's nine car. Becca Moss has a lot of rear end damage. I'm not sure where she got all that rear end damage. We'll check that in a sec. But here we go. Under caution, Trek Tauger would have turned Becca Moss and then that's where the two got damaged. And that's why the two was slow on the restart. But that's where Rebecca Moss got a lot of her damage. So it's absolute mayhem ever since we've gotten back under the lights. And Kyle Bashelia blows up the 35 car. So that's Bashelia done as we are still green as Ace Vito's back on the lead lap. Gurian leads the race. Here comes Scott Roush up the order now. Brock has gotten going again. He's just been slow on this restart. Ace Vito's hoping for a yellow. The 35 is stopped out there. I think he's far enough off the track they're gonna keep it green. Yes, they are. So, Gurian leads over Roush. The 44 of Vincent Allen. The 88 is still up there despite having grand damage. Oh, the 31's in the fence! The 31's in the fence, no caution yet. However, the 31's trying to get, oh, the two's around, the 82's in it, the 80's around. And now we've got a yellow. And more calamity and mayhem in this American 700. So there was some contact between the two and the 31. The 31 slid up into the two, the 15 also slid up, and the 31 goes into the fence. And around, and the 31 just trying to keep under control. The two doesn't know what he's going. The 82 goes around trying to miss everything. And hence there's more calamity. So the two comes off the wall here and is trying to get down low into the pits because he's got a lot of right side damage. And Fitzwater, he just turns in front of Fitzwater. That's where the 82 and the 80 get contact. And the 17 nearly gets collected in that. 17's still in the race. However, at all, that Zachary Fitzwater is going to be the first car off pit road. <laughs> 
somehow Fitzwater and the Pertec Team Australia car got him the first off. Zachary Fitzwater would fall out of the race and Grayson Ace Vito got back on the lead lap from all that mess and mayhem. And Fitzwater's going to lead the field of the green if a Pertec car would have been leading at the end of this race. I thought you would have been nuts, but here comes the 88 already getting a better start than him. The 9 and the 2 are slow. The 84 gets held up. The 15 gets held up. And everybody in the back is scrambling, trying to get going again. The 88 has taken over the lead of the race. If I looked in the corner, the two's going around. The two went around and Pericles is in it. Pericles grenades the motor into the outside wall. And the 88's now the leader of this race. But we've got another yellow. This is getting insane. But it's the end of the American 700 cars have had a chance to win it than anybody else has ever dreamed of. And we had probably the tamest American 700 of all time last year, and now we have the most insane. And now the field is slowing down, and we saw this as like a nightmare at the last caution here, so hopefully everybody makes it on slow down here. And uh, the 88 should be the leader. I'm not sure why the 25 took it. But... I guess they motioned him too, I'm not sure. And the 80, they're all getting held up by Myatt, and then the two just gets, or the two gets hooked by the 84, and then the three, and around they go into the wall. And the 82 and the two are done. Well, at least the 82's definitely done, because he grenaded the motor. And William Brock would fall out of the race as well from that incident, so I made a mistake about saying Brock kept going. Um, the 82 and Brock fell out, so Pericles is going to win this American 700. I don't know who's going to win this one, because pretty much with how everybody's going, I think Kenny Maya could still end up winning it, despite him being off the pace and freaking slow as molasses on the lap down. Because at this rate, I don't think anybody's going to finish it. So Scott Roush is going to lead the field back to the green. That's Matty Maya and Cody Lamas now up there. The KR Supers had a good job getting some cars up the order here. But like I said, this race has just gone absolutely haywire. And we've only got about 50, 50 laps to go. And green flag is out again. Here we go. The 9 is slow again on the track. And the 9's trying his best, just getting out of the way, letting everybody go by. And just somebody decided to get stuck behind him. And here's Ace Vito getting stuck behind the 9. Luckily, everybody seems to make it around the 9 safely this time. And it's Roush v. Myatt v. Allen again. And this stint has just been an absolute crazy fest. We had such a good start to this race. And about the first stint of this race was so clean. And then it just starts going absolutely bonkers afterward. And now here comes the one now looking low on the 25. The 44 and the 88 are dueling each other. Remember, the 88's got rear end damage, so I'm kind of surprised he's still running right now. Here comes the 73 and the 51. The one car, the dominant car of the day, is trying to go for the lead now. However, as you can definitely see throughout the stint, the intensity is at a breaking point. Like I said, we've never seen this many cars on the lead lap at the end of the American 700 before we came into this night segment and it's actually caused this race to go beyond control because, like we said, we've never seen this many cars with a shot to win it. And they're just getting so aggressive now in this race, and the 25 is holding off the one, actually. However, it seems like now they seem to spread themselves out a little bit, and actually we're maybe getting some decent racing in here. However, here comes the 83 and the 51 through the order now. The 48 slid back a ways. And this race could be anybody on the lead laps, I think. Anyone except Kenny Mike still running, I think, could win this race. Because the 11's on the lead lap. Nobody, Myatt's the only car a lap down. And the 25 and the 1 are dueling each other. The 44 is closing in now. So here comes everybody now. Everybody in this line is on the lead lap. There's not one of these cars that's a lap down. So, just a big duel now. Who is going to pick this one up? 
The one car is diving once again for the lead. However, the 25 is holding her off. The 44 of Vincent Allen's won this race twice before, once at Indianapolis and once here at Fontana. Can Vincent Allen pull it off again? Here, Bouchard and Art make contact there. The desperation is really kicking in for this race here. And now you're starting to see everybody just try whatever they can to get up the order. There's Noah Hart, he led a bit earlier in the race. Now can he get back to the lead again? It's just a big, giant showdown now. Vincent Allen now is going for second position now and is now trying to go for the lead on the outside, using the outside to his advantage. He gets by the one car and now they're going to have to deal with the nine coming up here shortly, but, and that's going to be probably beneficial for the one. However, the 25 now continues to lead this race. Scott Roush has never won an Arkansas lead series race and yet he could end up winning his first in the American 700, of all things. He is pulling away on Vincent Allen. Vincent Allen didn't get a great run through the corner. Allen's going high because a couple cars look like they're maybe looking at pitting. No, they're not. And now it's all down to who gets nine. The nine's going down to block the 25 a bit there. And the nine now is just trying to get out of the way. I think he was trying to help his daughter a bit there. The 70, gets held up a bit there. The 83 gets by the 73. And oh boy, the nine now is just going to be a big factor now. The 18 is all over the 83. Remember these two had a little run in together a little bit ago. And now the 18 and the 83 are in the top six still. They wrecked earlier and now they're still in the top six. The nine now is going to get lapped by a couple of other cars here. That's Bouchard, Ace Vito and Curtis. Oh, here's the one pitting. The one is on pit road, pitting early now. This is a good strategy call, I think, by car number one. Just don't catch a yellow is the only thing you gotta hope for if you're a Matty Myatt fan. If you're a Matty Myatt fan, the only thing you gotta hope is no yellow flags yet. And with the nine out there, who knows what's gonna happen. Here comes the 25. It looks like he lost a tire a bit there right as he was coming to pit road. So he's gonna get lucky, but he's gonna lose the lead to the 44 and lose a bunch, a little bit of time there. The 44, the 73, the 83, and the 18 are all in a group together. However, these guys are all staying out late. I like what the one's doing. I really like what the one's doing here. Everybody else, with the exception of Bobby Jones, seems to be putting Bobby Jones on the lead lap, keep in mind. He got his lap back. I think he was a lap down sometime in this race. It seems like everybody once was. And now Bobby Jones is going to lead this. I don't like the strategy call, though, by Bouchard, Curtis, or any of these other cars staying out. I don't like it unless if they catch a yellow. Unless if they catch a yellow, and I hope that isn't going to be the case because I love seeing this many cars having a chance to win this race. I love it. Bobby Jones is looking to pit this time, along with the 15 and the 88. Yellow flags are like big whammies in this race. The 18 and the 83 are together. There's the one car on the track, you saw her go by. And the one is, I think, going to have a very, very big lead by the end of this one here. The one car of Madeline Maya played the strategy right. However, she's gonna get held up by her father. Man, that was a close call. However, the one has a big, big lead now. Over the 44, the 25, and the 51. The 51's gonna get held up by his nephew. Oh, and they're gonna slide by Myatt as well there. And now the 25 slots into second. And it's not even close for Bobby Jones. Bobby Jones is getting back on the track. He's gonna slot in seventh, I believe. Maybe even eighth if I, uh, Gurian gets him. I don't know. He might get. Well, I don't know where the 80, where the 18's really running. But Madeline Maya leads this race. The big loser on this strategy call was Jordan Bouchard. Bouchard lost a ton of time there on his pit stop cycle, and now Bouchard slotting behind while well, he's actually battling for 10 for 11th with Cody Lamas and uh, and actually Fitzwater as well. 
DJ Curtis and Ace Vito lost a bit of time by staying out as well, as did Durian and a couple others, but now the pack is catching the one card, led by Alex Allen in the 51. Scott Roush, Vincent Allen, and John Arndt are all, I think, serious threats for this win. Remember, the one's got older tires in a lot of these cars. And the 51 and the 83 now are dueling with her. They're sparring here. The one car has been passed by the 51. And now here comes the 83 and the 44. So the 51, the BFM 51 car of Alex Allen leads this race. However, the pack would once again catch the nine car of Kenny Myatt. The nine is trying to help out his daughter. However, that's not gonna fly, I think here, because he actually holds her up in the process of helping her. So the one car is going to lose a couple more spots here. However, remember the one is likes to pit early. The 83 now is trying the 51 for the lead of this race. We've only got a little bit to go in this one here. About 30 to go in this race here. It's all a big fight now. The 83 now is looking low on the 51 for the lead of the American 700 and John Art takes it, maybe not. Alex Allen's fighting back on the outside with Vincent Allen in tow. Could be a family Allen affair. Here comes Noah Hart onto the scene here trying his best. Remember, he stayed out for a while. The 80 of Benjamin Dover is about to get lapped, and here comes the 51 coming down pit road for the lead. Madeline Might was already in pit road the lap before, despite losing a ton of time on track. Here comes the 59 down pit road. Halleck is also out there. The 84 is coming in soon, too. Art leads over Vincent Allen, DJ Curtis, Bobby Jones, Noah Hart, and Grayson Ace Vito. Two laps later, Vincent Allen will pit. John Arndt has already come down pit road with Noah Hart. They seem to be pretty lockstep together. And now this race is just absolutely insane. They are going to have to pit one more time, I believe, by the end of this one here. The leader now is the one car of Madeline Myatt with John Arndt and Alex Allen. Now at the end of this race, with the way that the pits are gonna work, the one car is going to be in the catbird seat, I think, here. If it goes green the whole way, of course. The one car is going to be in the catbird seat. The 82 and the 51 are dueling for second. And this is race is just absolutely insane. However, the 83 now is all over the back of the one with only about fifth coming up to 16 laps to go in this American 700. John Art now is diving for it with Alex Allen in tow. Where's Vincent Allen? Vincent Allen with Scott Roush and Noah Harder a little further back. If I've got a feeling it's gonna be one of these three cars unless the caution comes out. However, there would be a debris yellow right as the 83 had passed the one car for the lead. The yellow would fly with only a handful of laps to go in this race. Oh boy, this is going to be an insanity fest at the end of this one. Virtually everybody's pitting. However, John Arndt had a very bad pit stop here. Madeline Myatt leads out of the pits with Vincent Allen, Bobby Jones, Scott Roush, and a couple others in tow. Oh dearie, dearie, dearie. This is going to be a nightmare, I think. Maddie Myatt would lead on the restart with only 11 to go. Oh, another crash at the back. The 80's around. And this is going to be a battle back here. The 80 went around, the 48's in it, the 84's in it, the 17's in it, the 88's in it. And oh boy, here's going to be the race back to the caution. And this could be very important. Was Scott Roush going to try to? The 44's got the outside. Is the 44 gonna get the run to get to the caution before the one? Yes, he does. Let's take a look and see what happened to the 80. The 80 was held up by the nine here and the nine's really having issues. And the 83 would turn him into the 88 and the 48 would get collected as well. So Dornan Bouchard has a lot of damage on both sides of his car now. And I think Bouchard's pretty much done as well. 
And I think the 48's hopes are over as well, but you don't know with this one. Grace and Ace Vito would come down pit road though on that restart and fall out of the race as well with only 11 to go, so tough break for Ace Vito. Moshe Gurian would actually pit under this caution as well. Remember, tires are a big thing here, and we've seen that one lap of tire wear can do a lot. However, I think he's going to be a little far back if this is going to work for him, but he's thinking that there's the TNF group are thinking that they're not going to have a shot if they don't do this. So this is a smart move, I think, here. And Gurian fell out of the race with suspension problems, so that was not a scheduled stop. That was a suspension issue. So with that being said, I think pretty much everyone back to Myatt has a shot to win. Myatt obviously is a lap down. If you're behind Myatt, I don't think you got much of a chance now because Myatt's going to hold you up. And that is if we go green or if there's another caution. Vincent Allen's going to lead with only a few laps to go in this race. Green flag is out. The 44, uh, the three didn't get a great start there, or I'm sorry, the 25 didn't. We're already four wide here. This is the biggest dash in these drivers' lives right here. I'm expecting it to be an all-out aggression fest with the 44 leading. That car nearly won the American 700, with, but with two laps to go, it blew up last year. Could it be redemption for that specific car? Madeline Myatt's coming now. Here comes John Hart looking way down low. The one now is trying to set up for the lead. She's been the dominant car of the day. The car one has been. And this race is down to its final five laps. Arndt now is trying to get going. Oh, somebody's grenading. I thought I saw, no, I'm sorry. The 18 just almost lost it there trying to keep it under control. That was the weirdest thing I've seen in a long time. Look at this save here by the 18 car. Almost loses it trying to enter the corner. But that's what desperation means in this race. John R. now has caught the one car and has passed her. John R. now is going for the lead of the American 700 on the inside of the 44. John R. leads the American 700 with only four laps to go. The 44 is there, it's a Silver Speed 1-2, but Silver Speed's looking low again, Allen is. However, Allen's car does not look nearly as good as Art. John Art is leading this race. Matty Myatt's gotta get by the 44, I think, because I think the 44 is a big liability now. I really think the 44 is a big liability. Art is just hoping that there's not going to be another caution in this race. That's all John Arndt's hoping for. No more yellows. No more yellows for him. Two laps to go this time. If there's a caution on this next lap, it goes to a two-lap dash. If it goes to the final lap and there's a caution, they race back to the line. And right now, John Arndt, as long as he can keep that car running, is gonna win this American 700. I don't think anybody's really got a shot near him. The 44 doesn't look strong enough. The one doesn't look strong enough. One and a half laps to go for Arndt. Bouchard's on pit road with a tire problem. John Arndt comes to take the white flag in this American 700. Arndt has taken the white. The Texan native has done his best to try and win this American 700. He made the show, obviously, by his own points. He won at Talladega. John Art down the back straightaway. Has only got two corners to go. He's opened up a massive lead to the 44 car. In an absolutely thrilling last segment to this race, John Art comes off the final corner, and John Arndt is going to win the 13th American 700. Arndt is an American 700 champ. Second goes to Vincent Allen, third to Matty Myatt, fourth to Jones, fifth to Hart, sixth to Roush, seventh to Halleck, eighth to Curtis, ninth to Allen, tenth to Fitzwater, eleventh to Shawrock. Shawrock gets points in the American 700. 
12 to Moss, 13 to Lamas, 14 to Griffin, and 15 to Benjamin Dover. That's your points here, but John Art has won the American 700. He is an American 700 champion. No one can ever take that from him, unless of tech, he fails tech, of course, but John Art has won the American 700. It's Silver Speed's redemption this season with John Art winning it. Congratulations to him on the American 700. And Matty Mind and Vince Allen have got to be kicking themselves because that could have been their day. So John Art wins the American 700 with Vincent Allen second, Matty Maya third, Bobby Jones fourth, Noah Hart fifth, Ralph sixth, Halleck seventh, eighth goes to DJ Curtis, ninth to Alex Allen, tenth to uh, Zachary Fitzwater, eleventh to Shawrup, twelfth to Moss, thirteenth to Lamas, fourteenth to Griffin, fifteenth to Dover, sixteenth to Bouchard, seventeenth to Myatt, and then everybody else didn't finish. 18th to Gurian, 19th to Ace Vito, 20th to Pericles, 21st to Brock, 22nd to Tauger, 23rd to Bestelia, 24th to Monaco, 25th to Dormitory, 26th to Walsh, 27th to Davidson, 28th to Thaver, 29th to Dodd, 30th to Freeze, 31st to Angel, 32nd is not here. That's just my car that had to do a loop there. Because there was a funny yellow that didn't happen. However, this day belongs to John Art, who won the 13th American 700. And we're going to see him do some victory celebrations, I believe, here. As he is, well, I don't know what he's doing necessarily. Oh, he's going over to the uh, Auto Club sign over there. And here he goes, doing some burnouts down there. He won in an absolutely thrilling battle here at the end of this race. It got really crazy right at the end, and now he's going over to the temporary victory lane. That was for the Arkansas Lights race. They're actually going to have our victory lane in the back. Um, and now he seems like he's got to drive over there. He's doing some more donuts in the grass over there. And he has got to let him tear it down, if you ask me. And now John Arn is heading in for the garage in what was considered to be one of the wackiest American 700s, I think, of all time. Uh, a lot of drama in that one, to be fair, as here he comes. He is going to make the turn into the garage area. What a showing for John Art. Congratulations to him. Let's go down to your points right here and now. And just like that, John Art has a huge point lead with 101 points, with Bouchard in second with 61. Bar virtually everybody at the top of the chart, other than that, haven't changed with the exception of Madeline Maya jumping up a couple of spots with 46 points. She, of course, finished third in the American 700. The big jump was obviously Vincent Allen, who hasn't started a race this year, finishing second for Silver Speed. Um, however, it's going to take a lot for somebody to catch Art now. However, there is the Indianapolis 250 and the Independence 400. Well, Independence 400's next, and then the Indy 250. But then outside of that, there isn't a whole lot of places for people to catch up beyond this point. So, um, still Tauger, Walsh, and Dunbar on zero. Moss got points along with uh, a couple other drivers as well. So that is good for them. The next race on the championship will be the Round of Illinois at the Illinois Motor Speedway, a track where John Arndt did very well last year. So he can only increase his lead by, I think, he can increase his lead there if he's lucky. We'll see you next time.